Hello and welcome to Radiant Freedom Digital Marketing. This is the recording of Lesson 6 Part 2, How to Do SEO Keyword Research, from our TGI SEO Friday's webinar series. And this episode features a live demo of how to use Market Samurai to do your SEO keyword research. We are joined by co-host Owen Xavier of the Canadian Marketing Team. And this webinar is live on Friday, July the 27th. I'll include links in the description below to Odin's channel and website, and I highly encourage you to check them out. Hey, hi, everyone, and welcome to another one of our TGI SEO Fridays. I'm just going to show you guys what I look like, so you're not so you see the face with the with the actual voice. And for a number of weeks, I've been listening to Jason talk about SEO and helping us become better at our own search engine optimization. He doesn't just go there; he goes even further. He talks about tools. He talks about different processes. He, he talks about how to implement a lot of this information. And I'm really excited to have Jason here once again to share with us how we can implement search engine optimization either for ourselves as a DIY or how we can hire Radiant Freedom to help you make sure that you get your SEO done while you're going and doing other sales and marketing activities. So Jason, thanks very much for being here today. I really do appreciate having you and I look forward to another awesome educational presentation. Yeah, once again, uh, thank you for bringing me on and joining you for this. And actually what I'll do is, just before we begin, is I'll actually turn off my video. And maybe if everyone could turn off your videos, just so that we don't have the box getting in the way. Thank you. All right, so today, actually, we're going to be uh, covering, you know, Lesson 6, Part 2 of our Search Engine Optimization Series. And for those of you that have missed the first uh, five lessons plus part one of this lesson, they are all going up onto uh, YouTube. So either they'll be up there now or they will be going up there over the coming days and weeks. So, and today we're actually going to be doing a bunch of live demos. So we're going to be actually rolling up our sleeves and showing you how to actually do some of your SEO stuff. And this will be stuff that will be super relevant, I know, to some of you that are on this webinar live. We'll be actually doing a live demo of a tool called Market Samurai. And so what we'll be covering is, first of all, what factors to consider in choosing your keywords. That includes the search volume and potential traffic you can get, how strong the competition is, and how valuable your search terms can potentially be. And we'll be going back and forth between the slideshow and live demos in Market Samurai throughout this uh, presentation. So we'll start with how to generate your keywords using Market Samurai. And there's actually a list of 10 steps that we'll be following. First is make sure you have your seed keywords ready. Now for those of you that weren't on before, the seed keywords those are basically the basic keywords that we'll use to then grow the full list from. And we'll be using the tool Market Samurai, which will then want to open up, start a new project, then we'll have a new project form we'll need to fill out. We'll walk you through this process you know, live on this webinar. And then we build out our keyword list. Then we look at any what's called negative keywords, which are basically things that are irrelevant to our company or the searches that we're targeting that the generator created on its own. And we'll then make sure we remove those from the list so that we're only considering relevant keywords. Now, alternatively, there's also something called positive keywords you can also use in Market Samurai. And those are basically keywords where you want all your results to be ones that contain this particular word or phrase. And we won't really be looking at that too much in this particular example. But I just want you to know that option is there in case you open it up and what it exactly does it does so you don't get any surprises. So then we'll be uh, looking at analyzing your keywords for competition and traffic potential. And ideally, what you want to find is high traffic and low competition. Then we'll be showing you how to use different filters to remove you know, phrases that are too, have too few searches or too competitive, as well as then how to uh, analyze what's left to uh, make sure that the ones you're picking are going to be ideal for your market and your situation. Now, if you don't see enough good options, the ninth one is go back to step eight and repeat it with some uh, different keywords until 
you start finding some uh, good choices. And then the final step in your keyword research is use your target keywords that you selected from steps one through eight to then build out your uh, topics, your website, and your articles that you'll be using. So for our example, we'll be uh, looking at a plumbing business that focuses on residential plumbing services in Vancouver and Burnaby. So we'll be starting with what would be step one in our That's list. That's an awesome. Yes. So you're saying something, Odin? Yeah, I was just saying that that is an awesome example. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, so during this stage, what we'll be doing is looking at making sure you've built out your list of seed keywords. And for the purposes of this demo, I've already prepared a small list of keywords to seed our main list with. And I put them into a simple uh, TXT file. Uh, those would be ones that open if you're in uh, Microsoft in uh, Notepad. And I recommend using a .txt file just to keep it simple because other apps like Word and other word processors may insert invisible formatting characters that can mess things up on you. So whereas if you're doing this, it's just plain text, so there's nothing that can cause you any problems or headaches. So, you know, so the first step we'd be looking at, so you know, basically it is a quick refresher is when you're preparing this list is you want to look at what are your products and then, you know, basically list those off, list areas that you service if you're location dependent, such as in the example of our plumber, they would be, they're dependent on their clients being located in the city of Vancouver or the city of Burnaby in our case. And of course, their products would be various plumbing related services. And when you're creating your seed list, it's best to keep it simple. And the most important thing is keep your keywords relevant. You do not want to be showing up in irrelevant searches or getting people that are not buyers coming onto your website. And so, into the second step. And so, never mind now. I'll slide. So, what we'll be doing now is going into your live demo and generating your keyword list. But first, we'll take a look at, at generating your keyword list. So, what I'll be doing here is opening up the uh, keyword list that I previously created. So there we are. So what we have is what we call, these are our seed keywords, and we have four of them in our example. So what we'll be doing is starting with plumbing Vancouver, and then we'll build out from there. And so what we'll be doing is we'll actually be doing this in Market Samurai, which I'll open up right now. All right, so when you first open up Market Samurai, this screen here will pop up. And over on this site here would be any projects that you've already started have in progress that have been saved. And in this case, so what we'll be doing is starting up a new project. And now this is the new project form I was mentioning earlier. So this first part here, keyword, this would be where you pick one of our seed keywords. So in this case, we'll use plumbing Vancouver to start out with. So that's probably going to be your biggest one. The next step is title. Now, it normally will automatically populate this once you put in your keyword, but in this case, what I'm going to do is just use plumbing Oops. to help if I uh, learn how to spell demo. And now the next one, file, what you want to do is make sure you locate this file in a place where you can easily find it. Now, in this case, we're luckily already popping up in the lesson six folder, so I'll, I know that I'll definitely go refine this one. So what I'll do is actually rename this to so the first word is fine, but I'll rename this to plumbing demo just so it matches our title, which is really advisable because it just makes it easier to find later on if you need to you know, find this actual file. And this basically this part here that just tells your computer that that's it should open up in Market Samurai. 
So now I'm going to click save. And adult content, we want that to be do not include because we're not looking to uh, go X rated on this search. So now we've got all this right. Just double check quickly to make sure it's right. Oh, yeah, we're, we're set to all countries and character, territories. And now we probably want it to be set to Canada since Vancouver and Burnaby are both located in Canada. So keep it as local as possible. So you keep it as relevant as possible. So now that we've got everything set up right, yeah, well, looks good. So now we're going to click create. And this is going to then now create our project. So what opens up into this area here? So the first thing we're going to want to do to generate our list of keywords is called keyword research. And next step is we're going to want to click this button over here called generate keywords to be in the upper right hand area of the window. And what this is going to do is going to take plumbing Vancouver and automatically generate you know, a bunch of extra keywords that are relevant to that. Now, American Standard, that looks like that's a specific brand name. So we can, so that was probably something we don't really care too much for. Now we have our list here. So what we do is go over to this X over here, click that. That'll remove that whole thing. This letter C, that again is, looks like it's just some weird thing that showed up. So again, we'll just click to remove that. Now we're also seeing a bunch of stuff from Burnaby, Coquitlam. So these aren't necessarily things that we want showing up in this list. We'll be work dealing with Burnaby later. So what you can do then is you click this word here, which now underlines it. Then go over to the X where that word is and click X. And you notice that here this box here, negative keywords, you've been seeing a bunch of stuff certainly show up in there and anything that's to do with Burnaby has disappeared. Now we also have you know, Coquitlam showing up in here, which again, we don't want. That's out of our area. So again, we'll remove that. And the idea is just scroll through here and just remove anything that looks like it's not something you'd be interested in. Okay. See plumbing, Alex, I like that's a competitor. So probably not really going to, even though that would be beneficial to show up, it's probably not going to have enough search on for it to be worth our time. So Jason, just a quick question for my clarity's sake. Uh, it says keywords 94 are active. So those are the current 94 active keywords that are being yes. used in the marketplace right now by plumbers, by just plumbing in Vancouver. No, those are the ones that are currently active in our list that we'll be considering. Then there's 18 removed. Oh, okay. Those are the ones that we've filtered out using these negative keywords I've been showing you about. Okay, cool. What a cool, what a cool program. Now again, Hillcrest, that looks like that's a competitor, so it's probably not going to really do us any good. Quick question for you. Gas, uh, again, that's not. So Jason, in, in the past when we were doing, when I was doing Google AdWords, we actually did keep our competitors' names in our, uh, in our AdWords, because what it did is that anytime anyone would search those, that our ad would come first. Is that something that you practice out of curiosity? Yeah, not so much for SEO because quite often you know, dealing with searches for a specific company uh -huh. there often isn't just not going to be the volume there to uh, really uh, worry about it. I see. I see. So for AdWords, you can do that, but for SEO, it's a bit different. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, also, you notice here we have Maple Ridge showing up here, and that's a two word one that we want to eliminate. So, what we're going to do here is click Maple and then click Ridge. Now, I'm going to leave plumbing on click because obviously we want plumbing to stay, but we just don't want people way out in Maple Ridge. Uh, same for North Vancouver. We again, want to remove that phrase. Again, Pitt Meadows. Mr. Water Heater sounds like a company name. Uh, where is that? Mr. Water Heater. Right up, what, right below leaky pipe. Under M. Oh, yeah, I see it. So yeah, so then what I'll do is just specifically remove that one. Um, and there was another one under L. If you'd go up, scroll up to L, there was a company named there too. New Westminster showing up in here. Up a little more. It was, La uh, yeah, there it is, that one. Oh, Lappins, yeah, okay. So we'll remove Lappins from the list. So we still have 76 there, and I'm just going to 
Gen 2 or if you're a roto reader, that again, that's probably one you don't necessarily want. Save on More Plumbing is an actual plumbing company. Universal Plumbing is actually a plumbing company. And so again, those would be things that you would want. So at this point, you know, if one or two of them uh, sneak past us, does it really matter? Not really. The main thing is that we don't want a bunch of irrelevant stuff cluttering up the next step in our process. So great, we've gotten all our plumbing Vancouver stuff done, but what about plumbing Burnaby? That is part of our target market. So how do we add that in there? Well, fortunately, there's this button up here called New Keyword. When we click that, that'll actually open up a new tab and create a new C keyword. So now I'm going to head over to, or let's back to our C keywords. I'm going to put plumbing Burnaby in here, up in the keyword box at the top here. Click update. Now our keyword is here. So again, we're going to want to go back to keyword research. And then we'll just repeat the same uh, process for Burnaby as we did for Van Plumbing Vancouver. So we'll generate our keywords. And again, we'll, you know, Blue Mountain Plumbing, that sounds like a company name, but Blue Mountain is okay for that show, because right? that's also, actually Blue Mountain is getting more into Coquitlam, so maybe not so much. City of Burnaby, that's fine. Drainage, Emco, that looks like, uh, again, a, Company name. Galaxy again looks like a company name, so we'll take that out. And again, Milani, competitor, so that's not really going to be helpful. Again, I mean, it is technically helpful if you can rank yourself on competitors, but the main thing is that specific companies, how many people are going to search for that specific company and how likely are they going to be to consider someone other than that company. Okay, then Surrey is showing up, so that's out of our target area. And we don't necessarily need Vancouver showing up on this particular list, because we already have another area that we're considering that. So, okay, so that again looks like a competitor, so let's take them out of the list. So now we're down to stuff that looks like it should be fairly relevant for a plumber operating in the Burnaby area. So now we're going to move on to the next one. So again, generate keyword. And let's keep going to the wrong file. So now we're going to do residential plumbing because this person does want to specialize primarily in residential. So let's update this and go back into keyword research and let's click generate keywords. And whoops, looks like it didn't generate anything else. So what to do? Well, in this case, what we can do is just, I already have it in here. So what we can do is just go over here and click, you know, just okay, give Michael Simon a chance to catch up. And then we'll just manually add it using add keywords and then click the button here. And it'll just manually add that individual keyword into our list. So residential plumbing Vancouver. And if we go down to the Ours, oh, Richmond looks like that's when it eluded us earlier. So here we are, residential plumbing Vancouver has been added in. Now we don't need that tab anymore, so we can just go ahead and remove that because that tab didn't really work out for us. Now we could do the same thing with residential plumbing Burnaby, but how much you want to bet that this is going to again be a solo keyword? Anyone care to place bets? Update. I think you. I think you probably know better than me. So uh, you win this yeah. bet. <laughs> <laughs> Generate keywords. There, there you go. I told you you won. <laughs> now let's give Market Samurai a chance to do this thing. And uh, what a surprise! You know, D Vancouver didn't generate more than just the one. And of course, neither did Burnaby. But that's no problem. Again, we'll go to our plumbing Burnaby tab. And we can just manually add it into our master list over here. So again, residential plumbing Burnaby will be in our list. So now at this point, we've finished 
generating our list of keywords. So, you know, not too bad. We got between the two of them, we should have roughly, a, yeah, roughly a hundred, slightly more than a hundred, maybe. So, what I'm going to do now is click on our keyword analysis tab. This is where we'll now start getting into the part where we start looking at how to analyze these keywords and oh no, we've only got 26 of them here. Where did all our Vancouver ones go? Well, unfortunately with Market Samurai, it only analyzed the ones in the Plumbing Burnaby tab. So what do we do? Well, there's a couple of options. You could click export, that would create a file. Easy way, since we have this thing opened up right now, is you can click copy. And that's just put it into our, what's called our clipboard. So now we can go over to our Plumbing Vancouver tab. And now I'll just do paste. Okay, this way so you can see what I'm doing. Now we click add keywords. And it's just add them all in. Everybody knows that a whole bunch of them have just been removed. That's because we were filtering out Burnaby originally. So now we don't want to filter out Burnaby at this point because we're wanting to merge our Burnaby and Vancouver list. So what we're going to do is go over in here and just highlight it Burnaby in our negative keywords list. You know, you know, backspace to delete that. Now I'm going to click update. So now all our Burnaby stuff has just been added back in. And I just actually noticed uh, we also have furnace. So Canada furnace showing up. Now furnace again is not relevant. We're not doing furnaces. We're doing plumbing. So now we have 84 keywords to consider. That's a reasonable size list, considering we started with only four, you know, to seed our list with. And we're doing a specialized local search. So let's go to keyword analysis. And now what I'm going to do is actually break out of this and let's head back here. So now we have to talk about our keyword analysis segment and exactly what we're going to be looking at here. Right, Pretty so, cool, Jason. I'm yeah. loving it. So the first thing that we'll be looking at in our analysis is how much potential traffic we can get. Because there's really two major options. There could either be, you know, like you see on the uh, left-hand side of this picture, it could just be a handful of people doing that search. So only a handful of people could potentially find their way to your site. Or there could be loads of people doing that search. Now, obviously, in this case, the more people doing that search, the better, because the more potential there is for some of those people to make it onto our website. Now, there's a couple of different ways that Market Samurai will measure this. There's two different numbers that could potentially show, depending on what options you have active at the time. That's the total, total number of searches per time frame, which could be measured in days, weeks, or months. And the uh, second is the number of people who would be likely to make it to your website if it will rank number one. And this is one that we'll focus on because we care more about how many people you could potentially reach your site than how many people are doing this particular search. So this number is calculated based on you know the average number of people that will click on our site but depending on where it's ranked. Now, if it's ranked number one, typically that'll be 42% of the people that did the search. The rank number two is 12. Number three, you're 8%. If you're in fourth place, you'll get 6% of them. Fifth place, it'll be 5%. Sixth place, 4%. Seventh place, 3%. And the remainder goes to everyone else. Now, these numbers are may vary depending on your industry. or It may vary over time. But this is going to give you a general rule of thumb. So now let's go back and start taking a look at, in Market Samurai, what your potential traffic is. So right now you'll see that we have currently these two numbers filled out, searches and SEOT. Now what SEOT stands for is, is SEO traffic, which is basically that's the measure of if you're in ranked number one, how many people would likely reach your site which is basically based on about 42% of this number, which is the total searches right now. We're looking daily 
because we're doing local search, we want to go to a larger time frame just so we get some bigger numbers, which will give us a little bit more accuracy. If you were doing a high traffic, uh, you know, searches, then we might want to go down to daily so that we can get, you know, depending on what we're doing. Now, we can also sort these results because right now what we're seeing isn't necessarily the most convenient way that it's being sorted. So if we click searches, it would sort by the total number of searches. You can also click this and it would again sort it by the total traffic. In this case, so we don't really care about total searches. So what you can do is go up here and click total searches here and just remove that number. So we just declutter our you know table here a little bit. So looking at this, terms like plumbing, plumber are generating a lot of traffic. That's good. Now if we scroll down, you can see there's a bunch of them that generate little to no traffic. So what we can do here is if we click this plus sign, we can actually set in what's called a filter. So let's maybe filter it so anyone who's any uh, search that generates fewer than 20 potential visits per month will get filtered out. So now let's just remove a bunch of the uh, low potential things here. So that's helped to declutter our list a little bit. But of course, the number of people visiting only tells us so much of the story because if you're when you're analyzing your competition for total number of searches let's take an example of a race you know which race and sorry I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself so now we're going to start looking at strength of competitors because how many people are doing the search is only part of the story so let's head back in to our uh, slideshow. And first thing we'll look at is how many competitors are there, the total number of them. Because naturally, the fewer people that are in competition with you, the uh, greater chance you'll have of reaching a top 10 spot. So it's best to pick keywords with fewer competitors. So to take the example of a race, which race would you have a better chance of winning? A race where there's 100 people competing in it or a race where there's just 10. Well, obviously, if it's just 10 people, you know, not counting ability or strength, your chances are 1 in 10 of winning it. Whereas if it's 100 people, you have a 1 in 100 chance of winning that race. So, now let's take a look at, in Market Samurai, how do we check how many competitors there are? Well, that, what we'd want to do is start adding in this selection here, title and anchor comp. Now it's going to take can take quite a bit of time, more time than we have on this webinar to do that. So what we're going to do instead is I've actually created a file where all the stuff has already been populated in for us. So it's going to save this project, and then now I'm going to open this other one here, which is the same pretty much the same list as we've been working on. There might be some slight changes because I was doing this at a different time. So now we have our stuff accurate. What I'm going to do is just review some of the things we aren't really wanting to look at right now. So that we um, Okay, so you know, let's get a okay. okay. I think I'm in uh, a yeah, different section than I really wanted to be in. So let's go back into our keyword analysis. Um, Where did it just leave order the list on me? I just a moment here. <laughs> you know, as um, you know, and say technology is great when it works the way we expect it, as we load this in case it's going to change a bunch of stuff on us. As I was looking around, it looks like it's in. Uh, 
you know, it's like we're in a different section than I wanted to be. Uh, no problem. So uh, okay, you're not going to cooperate with me today, are you? Uh, there we go. You know, just reordered the uh, tabs on me. So this is the one we're wanting to look for. So this again is how many people per month are doing the search. And now we have also this other one has just been added in that we'll be looking at. This is assessing how many competitors there are in the market. It's called TA Comp. So at this point, I had a bunch of filters in place. I'm going to do is just remove those so you can get for the purpose of this demo so you can get a more complete look at things. So if we go back to things like plumbing, plumber. What you'll notice now is that sorting it by this is that some of these really short phrases have you know thousands and thousands and thousands of people competing. You know what this uh, phrase means is that's how many uh, websites have this exact uh, phrase in the title of the website and in what's called the anchor text or the clickable text in a link leading to this particular page from another page. So in other words, an external link heading into them. So and basically, the higher this number is, that means the more people that are, there are that are competing for the search. Like, say, plumbing, for example, has over 193,000 different web pages all competing to rank on this term. So that means there's a lot of people in the race for a word like plumbing. So what we can do is, say, filter it down to, say, 30 or less. So now we see there's a lot less of them in here, but com competition is a lot lower. So it's 23, 13, 12, 1, 1. So these are, so these level of competition is a lot more manageable than competing against tens or hundreds of thousands of people. Now we're just competing against, you know, a couple dozen, a dozen, you know, one other site that's in competition for this. So fairly easy if we do a little bit of SEO work to move ourselves above these people that are already here. Again, though, number of competitors only tells us part of the story. So heading back into our slideshow here, there's also the strength of competition. So again, knowing how many competitors is not enough. We need to know how strong they are. In each of these two races, is one of the races have someone like Usain Bolt competing in it, going back to our race analogy, and maybe a bunch of other Olympic world class athletes in it. And maybe the other uh, race that we could go into has just a bunch of average everyday people. Which one are you more likely to win against Usain Bolt and a bunch of world class athletes, or just a bunch of everyday people? Which competitors are you more likely to beat? You know, comp you know, what? international companies like Milani or searches that are only small local plumbing companies. Obviously, we're going to want to pick the image on the right. You know, regular everyday people, regular everyday companies, you know, not the big national, multinational giants that can just outcompete you, not the Usain Bolts that'll uh, leave you eating their dust. So. Now what we're going to do is head back into Market Samurai and take a look at. So what we want to do is, at this point, is we want to start getting a little bit picky here and narrowing down specific keywords that we'll take a look at in more depth to see how competitive they really are. And how you do that is by clicking this key icon over on the left. Yeah, so let's say take, for example, plumbing. Okay, that one's already up there, so we'll take uh, Burnaby Plumbers. And what uh, Market Samurai will do is create a new tab, Burnaby Plumbers. And then what you need to do is go over here, and then this page will pop up. This time, what we want to do is click this option here, SEO Competition. And then that'll load this up. And then you want to click Generate Results. Again, this will take a bit of time for it to generate. Fortunately, though, I've already prepared a few of them in advance. So I'll head back over to, say, Plumbing Van. Okay. Let's go into back into our SEO competition for this one. 
Now, fortunately, this one I've already generated all the results. And what this is, these are the top 10 results for the search plumber Vancouver in, in Google. So these would be the ones that would be on page one where you want to be. This first column here is domain age. This measures how many years these websites have been around for. So obviously the higher the number, the older they are and the stronger they'll be. And you notice that each of these cells is, uh, well, each of these things are color coded. Red basically means strong. Yellow means kind of medium level strength and green means it's weak in this area. So ideally what we're looking for is a lot of green and yellow and very little red. The red means that there's gonna be strong com competition. Now Plumber Vancouver looks like there's some fairly strong competitors, but there's also a lot of green. So there might be some room to get in there. Let's take a look at Plumbing Burnaby. Now again, we're seeing some red in here, but there's also a lot of green and yellow. So again, there's fairly accessible competition. Now let's go over to Plumbing Vancouver. Okay, well, that's our original search, so skip that. So Tommy and Burnaby, this is all the ones we just were working with earlier, so we'll skip past that. Now Plumbers Vancouver. Notice again, there's a little bit of red over in this side here, but mostly it's all green and yellow. So again, this one is got accessible competition. We aren't going to be trying to outrun the same bolt. Now let's try plumbing, which was one of the ones that has a huge number of competitors. Now you know, so you're starting to see a little bit more red in here. So there's you now starting to compete against giant sites like Wikipedia, TriCities, Plumbing.net. Looks like they're a strong one. Now there's still a fair bit of green, so this is a bit of an oddity for uh, generic searches like this. So and you know, I know I realize we're taking a little bit of time to go through all this. We're very close to the end, so is it okay with you if we uh, go a little bit over time this time? Because like I said, we are very close to the end of this presentation. And so, so if nobody objects, if you, then uh, what we'll do is just continue on for about, I think we need just basically about five more minutes to wrap this up. So what we'll do is head back over to here. So taking a look at each of these things here, what I'll do is head back over to Plumbing Vancouver, so our master list. So we've taken a look at it and it looks like Plumber Vancouver, Plumbing Burnaby, Plumbers Vancouver, all look like they're fairly equivalent when it comes to strength of competition. So let's take a look at level of traffic. And what we'll see here is, is that uh, Plumber Vancouver has about half the total number of competitors. Plumbing Burnaby, both versions of it have very few people competing for that space. But we'll look at what's another thing we could do to break the tie, because these things are all very close together. So you notice that there's a CPC stat on here, that's called cost per click. So for the purpose of this, and I'll bring back our searches, as well as we have this SEOV, it stands for SEO value. What these are is these are ways of measuring how valuable each of these search terms are. Now, cost per click, this is based on how much people are paying for each click in Google AdWords. So the higher this number is, that means the more competitive, more people are competing for a particular spot. And you know, the higher they're willing to pay to get that spot, so the more valuable everything is. So and this SEO V is just basically way of quantifying this because, you know, this thing here isn't telling the whole story, nor is the number of people doing the search. So what we'll do is take basically our, this number here times cost per click gives you this value here. That tells you how many people are likely to get to your site and how valuable that traffic is likely to be. In other words, is it buying traffic that people who are paying for ads are willing to pay a lot of money for, or is it kind of looky loo traffic or mediocre traffic, so, you know, regardless of how many of them there are. And looking at that, we'll notice that Plumber Vancouver, not only is it lower number of competitors in the marketplace, 
but still the same number of traffic and equivalent to plumbers Vancouver in terms of strength of competition. But you notice it's more than double the value though. So this one here, plumber Vancouver, would be a very strong term to use. We're also looking at, of course, plumber Burnaby. You notice there's little to no competition. There's about half as many people that would be making it to your site. It's only valued at about a dollar per click or a $45 value roughly. So that's only a fraction of the total value. On the other hand though, the competition is so weak that probably the effort to get in here would be next to nothing. So that would probably be something to consider as a secondary thing that we'd look at after we've ranked for Plumber Vancouver. So that, now uh, this basically concludes our presentation. So is there, uh, and uh, at this point I actually have a. Yeah, I want this done for me, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It, it's so, the classic, how does this affect me? I want it done for me. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching our webinar replay. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button to let us know. If you have any questions or feedback on our webinar, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure and subscribe to our channel to get updates of more awesome content coming up. I also recommend you check out Odin's channel, link in the description down below. And the schedule to our upcoming uh, webinars is also in the description down below, along with the link where you can uh, sign up to attend live. And I highly recommend you get on them live, as you'll have the chance to ask questions and get them answered live on the webinar, content that you won't get on these replays. Now remember, you're awesome, so shine your awesomeness for the world to see. This has been Jason from Radiant Freedom. Bye for now.